Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Karate series. So today we are going to talk about how to pass one already generated authentication token which is already with us. Let's see on the lower environment, on the queue environment or dev environment you want to run your API test cases and one token ID which is already there which will never be expired or maybe which will be expired in 24 hours or 48 hours. So how to configure that Kara token id in karate configuration file in the next chapters i'll tell you that how to generate the dynamic or runtime uh, session ids or token ids later on but today we will see how to uh, use the existing token id which is available with you which is the token is already available with you like bearer token or something like this so in that case let's create a new feature file and uh, the file name that i'm going to create this is my auth uh, token dot feature okay and in this particular auth token dot feature we are going to use one simple uh, what you can do you can just go to firefox and then simple write this go res dot co dot in and uh, you can generate your token you can just log in from here and you can generate the uh, token here so you can see this is my token actually and with this token as a header i have to pass with the bearer token so when you hit any api from go res dot co dot in so for example let's see if i uh, run from here so you can just hit any api by passing the token here so for example i want to capture the user information or any specific user information i have to pass the the authentication token with the bearer keyword so let's see for example i'll show you in the postman just like this you can see here that uh, you go to bulk edit and see this is the token that i have to pass along with the bearer keyword here okay so this is the prefix and this is the token that you have already generated and when you send the request and then you are getting a response over here like this so here you can see the response here like this okay so the question here is that uh, in your authent uh, header you have to pass that particular token like this and uh, see this is a forget about these uh, headers these are the inbuilt headers provided by postman you have to use this as a key and this is the prefix and then the token so what exactly I can do it that I can quickly go to my Eclipse and then I can uh, simple write a feature. I can just do one thing. I can just simple copy the feature from here to here. Okay. So let's see. This is a feature. So we won't waste our time in writing the feature file completely. And this is the base URL. And you remember I told you that base URL is actually coming from the karate config.js. So this is my environment variable configuration file that is provided by karate so karate before running any feature file karate will read this particular dot uh, js file this is a configuration js file where you can pass multiple parameters configuration parameters here like this so here you can see that i have uh, one important configuration parameter where you can see that uh, environment that i'm reading it which is coming from the karate dot env we will talk about this later get system property karate env just like we have system dot set property right same thing here we can use karate dot env if we are passing any environment variable like that and here this is a configuration part you can provide your constant variables or environment variables like uh, whatever variable name if you really want to pass your base url or username password anything you can pass it over here for example here i'm using that is my token uh, id which is this is my token id that uh, that sorry uh, i'll just I'm going to copy the token id from here so this is my token id so just copy this and uh, paste it over here and this will be my variable so what i just need to use this particular variable in my uh, feature file that's it so for example let's see if i'm just uh, doing one thing let me just comment it out and i'll write that uh, simple write star uh, print the token id it will print the token id so let's run it and let's see if it is really working or not so run as a configuration let me give the path of this file this is my karate youtube practice project name and the feature file name and let's see authentication token dot features apply and run okay so see i'm printing uh this thing here just a second there is some problem with my script exception okay let me go to this here you have to write in single code that is my mistake and then you have to put a comma also here okay because uh, this is a kind of object here and these are the object properties that we have to define okay now let's run it again 
click in the feature and now this time you can see this is absolutely working fine zero failure and then you can see it's uh, it should print the complete see it's printing a token here so whatever the variable that you have defined in your config.js the same variable you can use it in your script as well because uh, Karate will always execute this config.js file uh, before executing any feature file. Now I can use the same thing in my script as well. So how to use that? So this is the base URL that I want to use. But before that, I really want to use, for example, let's see, um, I want to use a use an header. So I'll write, okay, fine. This is my uh, given the header in the last chapter we have already seen. What is the header name? My header name is authorization is the key, which is equal to, and then I have to use the bearer token. So B E A R E R space. You can see the same exact thing bearer and then some space and then your token. So the token is actually coming from where? So I simply write that uh, config.js variable name token ID and that's it here token ID, right? So now let's see it is uh, really working or not and then I'll right click on it run as Kikima feature here you can see yeah it is absolutely working fine uh, let me just quickly uh, show you the okay we can check it over here so authentication token dot feature here you can see yes we are passing the beta token and method is equal to this and here you can see this is the uh, token that we are passing as a header and this is my a user API request URL and we are getting the status code is 200 and we are getting the response over here like that perfect so this is how you can use <clears throat> the token in the next chapter in upcoming chapter I'll tell you how to generate this token at the runtime because in your application you might be using the token for every request there is a new token or uh, the token is not hard coded right now this token is actually kind of the same token I'm using for all the APIs you can create n number of APIs like post call, put call, delete call, and you can use the same token ID. But in some applications, what happens is your token ID is getting refreshed after two, two, three minutes or after 10 minutes like that. The same token ID will not work maybe uh, after two hours or three hours. So in that case, you have to generate a token ID at the runtime by using some other different API. So I have one very good example that I'll show you in the next chapter. First, we will generate a token ID at the runtime and we will be using the same token ID uh, in the upcoming request like this. So we will see API chaining and all such things as well in upcoming chapters. So that's all for this particular video. Just very small thing just to show you how to use the environment variables from the JS file to the, uh, to the feature file like this in the form of token ID. That's it. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and God bless you all.